Senator Hanson Young. Uh, thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. Today I'm going to read out a speech from 11 year old Ida Adams from my home state in South Australia. In fact, she goes to primary school just around the corner from where I live up in the Adelaide Hills. It's been written uh, as part of the Raise Our Voice in Parliament campaign, which amplifies the voices of young people and their visions for the future. So Ida says, I'm passionate about making this place a better world for humans and animals alike. There are many significant problems in the world, including world hunger, homelessness, violence and lack of biodiversity. But by far, the most important is climate change. Australia is an amazing country, and we are also fortunate to live in it. But it may not stay one. Our leaders need to understand what climate change is and take action. It is no longer just plastics pollution, or, but overuse of electricity, fossil fuel mining, vehicles, food production, and so, so much more. These things tragically result in multiple consequences such as weed and pest invasions, salt invasions, extreme temperatures, etc., resulting in an unlivable climate for humans, plants and animals alike. Australia can't stay this way. If we keep polluting it, it will get worse. This problem is major and you cannot ignore it. We need to figure out solutions and replacement for oil, gas and water and other resources. But more importantly, we need more government funding for research for this to happen. We created the problems so we can fix it together for a strong and healthy Australia. But the leaders of today need to have insight, see what is wrong and step up for what is right. The solutions to problems of tomorrow are in the hands of politicians today. That's a statement from Ida Adams in South Australia.